Hello. Uh, so this was a kind of late night game, a uh, normal EU uh, ladder. I've been doing uh, ranked ladder again lately, and the MMR unranked for me is slightly higher than unranked. And well, this game turned out to be very tough uh, for both of us. And that's kind of why I wanted to show it. I mean, it's it's 46 minutes long, um, and it is a lot of it is just full of action, and certainly did not notice it at the time being being that long. I send out quite an early scout because my aim is to go CC first, so I need to know what he's doing. He obviously doesn't know that you can't spawn vertically on this map. So often it is that you're just like next to each other. Um, if you're the Terran, you can kind of float a base off here. Um, it's um, it's closed off certainly for a while. I did a little bit of um, SCV harass, but he brought another one in to, to help his uh, other worker. So that was you know all good. I retreated before I died. Um, but obviously, if you're both Terran, uh, it's uh, commonly used with dropships or whatever across that route. So it's not worth doing. He opens Reaper first, which obviously is very bad for my CC first. Barracks being finished there. And starts with a Reaper harass. I pull off basically way too many workers to harass him, but I try and do the thing where you pull off the damaged one and you're chasing him with more healthy ones. In the same time I've got to try and um, get my actual Marines in there. I do lose two workers to it but he's damaged enough that one marine can chase him off. Of course he's going to recuperate but I'm going to keep building marines at that time. Damage one can go in the bunker. But as you can see most of these workers have taken some damage and if he's any good at what he's doing yes he can pick off the weaker ones and now they're so weak the ones chasing him that he can get significant kills. There indeed are five one marine goes down but there's another one to finish him off so yes I'm a kind of, kind of couple of workers down and five workers killed and of course I don't have the second factory which I normally do for this build there's the second factory first one normally will then build a tank but of course I want to cut off this this normal route and yes I am aware that after Reaper very often comes Banshee, so I'm building in preparation for that. Him, in turn, has got his Banshee. And I thought I saw that he had Research Cloak, but apparently not. Uh, mine, of course, not one shotting a Banshee like they do a um, an Oracle. So Banshee got three easy kills there. He's mapping his route round. Um, let's just see what he knows. He doesn't know that I have an expansion, but I suspect that he suspects that I have one. But he sees my third there, unfortunately. And he sees the protection. Nice save for him on his Banshee. Saves it from going away. A, a further seven worker kills. And of course the turret here, not in time. He's getting his second up and production um, reflecting that. In fact the, the army value is going to be quite quite amusing viewing before long. So at the moment army supply pretty even, worker supply very much in his favour, but of course I have the three CCs with three mules and the question is, you know, a gas population, so I have both gas populated because as you as regular viewers will know very often I go into Banshees. Um, right now I just need to get the pattern for a, a big force at the front door because that's kind of the next response is while this harass has been going on he's building up a significant force and of course his production going along without any problem or in, in interruption. So now it's a matter of me positioning my tanks. 
positioning our mines and then getting the uh, the ravens going a little bit of gas banked uh, a thousand I call it a little right now because you need 300 for the upgrades and 200 for each raven so the first ravens will come out without added energy so they don't have the hunter seeker ready so right now army supply it's slightly in his favor but fortunately that's the banshee gone that's one of the birds gone he's taken out the first tank without a problem I'm late on the repair here because his uh, medivacs can heal up his units well enough and the tanks not able to take out the marauders they're one one seeing them through but this force from my point of view isn't enough to take them out as you can see ravens not with enough energy so I'm, I, I'm in the belief that I can repair and hold this command center extra stim and obviously I can't hold the command center we just gotta wait till the ravens have the energy and ideally not lose all these workers but as regular viewers will know the the, the worker numbers not so not so crucial so good to get some of those marauders out of it he is in the belief that this has put him ahead um, worker supply over twice, army supply over twice. Um, so that makes us about even. And Raven production temporarily uh, halted because I do not know why. <laughs> but it is. I decide that I can push my warp with my one Thor. Um, for me, this particular game is actually all about Raven control and. I must admit, I do not do it successfully all of the time, but they managed to get a Hunter Seeker off without receiving more damage. I need to populate these bases. Um, problem is, he knows about them, or at least he knows about the bottom one, and so I shouldn't rely on them staying up for too long. But they give me the mules, which gives me the minerals, and so long as they're pumping the extra gas, that means extra ravens. Upgrades wise I, I don't do well at all. I must admit uh, my multitasking kinda lets me down here. Uh, but you know, as you know my APM is never never very high. I need to re-establish my front door probably faster than I am hence uh, the need for extra factories. Mines I do feel are the way forwards. He's built a planetary, which kind of means he's expecting a counterattack, but he's expanding to his fourth. Good move by him, I would as well. <laughs> Worker supply still double, army supply approaching three times. But as I always say, when uh, when your army supply consists of ravens, you don't need that many. Give me fourteen ravens, and. I can defeat most Terran armies well at this level anyway. But as you'll see this game is also about me getting my ravens into teams. Um, not only for killing armies but just for the harass. So army values there, mine of course, gas heavy. Uh, he now taking his significant army in to take out this base which he knows about. I, 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 I lift it off not in the expectation of it living but kind of if it does live then great. So the counter-attack of course is where we start to even up the workers loss count because the, uh, the planetary of course has a limited range and you can put your auto turrets down to, to kill the workers. So you see, workers kill, getting there, he's killed 35, I've killed 20. But he's still on almost double the workers. So he didn't finish this base off, and that one is relanding. And at the moment, this is still just a harass. He 
no longer quite has a maxed out army but he's starting to bank the minerals. This of course, slight mistake, yes, should do the hunter seekers more than the auto turrets but that is starting to be a pretty formidable bio army and with the number of marauders he has um, hunter seekers uh, don't kill them as easily this is kind of to keep him in his base because most of what I'm doing I just need more time to get established to get more bases he's maxed out again he's got the Vikings I of course have used most of my magic so I can't drop PDDs which would be great in this case I can slow him down and to see he has to run back gives me a chance to get back behind my mine and my turret so works fine army supply basically he has double on each um, I always drop the mules on what I think is the highest risk base so you get the minerals while you can I do know that this base has, has a limited lifespan not sure where that scan was but these more harassing ravens because I pretty much know that he's going to have more bases so again I try for the lift off but this time there aren't the refineries to keep his units interested and probably some of my units betray the fact that this base is in existence of course that's all going to go down and it's a matter of now can I hold the front door I have kind of extra tanks but here we go counter attack again that base is not operational and probably fair enough from his point of view he thought that he was safe uh, he does have the spare minerals that he could have put a couple of turrets down but a little bit of an afterthought now these auto turrets just stay for so long with the upgrade and of course on the other side the harass in the main so my aim here is if I can keep him down here he's not going to clean up the main and these buildings and these particularly these, these add-ons will go down um, not game changing not game ending but it'll do enough to, to keep him busy so a nice, a nice bunch of his uh, army supply gone there. A nice bunch of it is damaged. His medevacs all overused. And no, I didn't specifically target any buildings. I just let them do what they want. And let's just see. Ah, oh, that research did not finish. And of course, more hunter seekers on the worker line. Worker supply still double. Army supply not quite double anymore. He, he isn't maxed out, the uh, medevacs going ahead of the rest and getting themselves killed. But lots of these buildings are at risk of being burnt down. If I'm going to have his attention elsewhere, if I'm, if I'm going to have him not repair them, I need to make his attention be somewhere else. But there aren't that many other targets for me right now again of course he'll come and chase me with his vikings a little bit more magic this time so if we just go to two units I now have 15 ravens in various places on the map it's a trusty widow mine is that certainly done its job even though it only has two kills um, my expansion I don't particularly think I can hold it I am pumping out you know almost not upgraded hellbats just because I have the minerals that I can spend I need something to soak up damage and this I this is this is my worst move of the game I I F2'd my army to this point and forgot to look after my ravens as so many of them died for no good reason. Uh, I, I eventually kind of realized and then managed to to send a few hunter seekers down. 
and of course the harass on the back of it to him. The army supply actually temporarily in my favour now. And you'll see how good Thors are against my build. They just live for so long and, and these Hellbats are not going to last for long. But I do want to save this base, ideally. Um, for, for reasons of not only the income but of course the buffer before I get to my main. So more Hellbats dying pretty quickly but they were supposed to be in combination with the Ravens just so the Ravens can launch those. So Army Supply right now in my favour but I know that his, his production's higher. So many spare bases for the mules when he wants them. He still has lots of um, lots of spare resources. And the Marauders of course take down auto turrets much quicker than Marines. But it's it's dangerous for me if he can get any any income going. So the sooner I can I can realise that this base is up and running the better. Unfortunately because of that F2 my my harassing uh, ravens on this side don't exist and I am down to ten of them. Uh, gas mined out in the main but we're getting back on the gas up here back on our up here keeping him busy oh, there, there, there. sorry we do have we do have um, harassing ravens on that side of the map which is good it's bad that he's now putting down more production in a safer place but here if I can get to the gas quickly that's always good because Thors need gas, tanks need gas, um, the repair ships, uh, what are they called, uh, the drop ships, the medivacs, they need gas. And so as long as I can keep an eye on him, I seemingly, yes, I, I stopped gas production on the second, so his main should be mined out, mined out of gas. Almost. So his only gas income at the moment is on the third and mineral income at the moment is only on the third. Again we have the harass from the Vikings but this time I know that I can be safe by being around the auto turrets. Um, he's deciding now that you know these shenanigans should end. He's going to put an end to, to all of my bases because of course he's landed here but unfortunately my harassing uh, ravens are there to cover that base. So again high ground shooting but he's now just coming in with his almost fully upgraded marine marauder ball and had I been more on the ball and actually got more marines out and upgraded them things would have been better for me. Um, even more tanks would have done. This this small number of marauders with the medivacs pretty much can and pretty much do take out my whole base. It's just my a few hero mines doing the jobs they were employed to do. Two extra ravens, brilliant for me. That's two hunter seekers ready to go. If um, if auto turrets are basically on their own, then they're, they're going to get taken down very quickly by marauders. He's reinforcing. I'm grateful that he runs into a mine. So pretty much two volleys, and it's down. Much better to save up your energy for hunter seeker blasts. Nice of him to target the um, the refinery. But of course, I'm actually not that bad on those upgrades. I now need to just run away from Viking. Again, I've, I've pulled in my, my Ravens from harassing. P 
PDD, but need the... Nice of him to run into the hero mine again. But I can repair up. But he's now spending so much of that bank. But again, it's the gas, meaning he, he can only and has to pump out the marines. Not too bad from his point of view, because they do shoot up. Uh, so, worker supply again, he's double. Army supply again, he's double. But I am on to 14. Fourteen um, ravens now. Auto turrets not good when faced by this big bio army, but they have enough energy now to do some significant damage. My production good that I'm still pumping out ravens. I've in fact built spare star ports in the anticipation that he was going to take my main down. Nice of him to walk on a path which lets me put the hunter seekers on his army which evens out the army supply somewhat and here he's got to walk around where they are so their natural path will not take them away from the hunter seeking missiles. But the strength of the marauders is going to be there. It's just a matter of how quickly the energy returns to these units. I'm not as concerned about my main as I should be. Having a quick look at the income. Mine is worse. My bank is not brilliant. Um, I don't think I got the money back for that Thor. But something does need to be done about these um, Vikings. I do, of course, have the safety of my lovely um, mine. Of course, he's taken out my base, but I see he has a mining base. That needs to be stopped, especially the gas. And again, a Viking. But if I put down some turrets to save myself, Turrets are going to hit the Viking. I can get the repair dude out. He's obviously not thinking of my other two bases. He doesn't know about them. He does know that I'm there taking out his base. He's just now looking for everything and pumping out what units he can, which obviously now is heavily Marines. I of course move off without my repair dudes who are just going to die. He's spending every cent he has, which also means he doesn't have money to repair. And so I just need to keep an eye on the fact that he doesn't have extra expansions. Now we're about to we're about to reach the point in the game where we have the combined number of workers is two and you'll you'll see how close this game gets in in not very long at all so units i have 13 workers but they're all there i have one base left so i managed to scare his army away from the command center and I do believe I actually forget to tell these guys to repair yeah they just sit in there that's burning down they're sitting there but then I do get it before the end so he was whatever 40 40 hit points away from finishing that command center off because though I do have ravens I have 20 of them 
I have uh, I, I would have had no building to float off in fact no buildings at all at least now I can still produce SCVs if I need them but I'm continuing this this harass he has no way he has six workers left right now he has a rather annoying as ever uh, Viking I, I, I need to multitask enough to actually see everything that's going on it's a nice couple of hunter seekers that come off because that is a big kaboom so he has one Viking that can shoot up and five Marines now he has one Viking and one Marine I have of course floated my base off to seeming safety I don't know that he's as badly off as he is I don't know that he's basically spent everything so ideally I would like to take my CC over here and start my base anew I'm going to put you onto my vision right now I don't know where he is or what he's doing I think that his army is much bigger than the three marauders and one marine that he that he has that viking unfortunately taking himself into jeopardy I'm just going to switch to his vision right now uh, he has two marauders, two SCVs and that's the combined worker supply, two SCVs he knows that I have a command center somewhere but he doesn't know that I'm so supply blocked that I can't build an SCV and I can't build an SCV, I can't build anything to so he sees that this mine has seen this base unfortunately of course um, mules can't attack and then he sees this and that was a close and hard fought game um, yep he lost more than me, he mined more than me um, I like ravens thanks for watching